Thousands in Warsaw join biggest protests so far against abortion ruling. If you're in an area where abortion is banned or restricted, you aren't out of options. Aid access, https colon slash slash aid access. Org, is run by physicians and women's rights advocates who offer abortion services internationally to women who may not otherwise have access. This includes the USA where abortion is heavily restricted in some states and often very expensive. After a brief questionnaire, an advocate will mail a valid prescription, instructions, pills, plus some extras, and will even walk you through the steps if needed via Skype. The organization is based on donations, no minimum amount required. Please feel free to repost this wherever you want and share this information. Also this Canadian organization. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Women own web. Org slash and slash. And this Dutch organization, HTTPS colon slash slash www. Women own waves. Org slash. Or find your closest Planned Parenthood. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Planned Parenthood. Org slash. Forced pregnancy is slavery. The church cannot demand that government enforce its beliefs on others by denying human rights. The Polish politicians have really taken Poland back to the Dark Ages. Neo-Nazis tried to disrupt protests and provoke fights but luckily it didn't escalate. See neo-Nazis running away from main crowd and police here. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Reddit. Com slash r slash polska slash comments slash jl 36 p 7 slash jolki underscore i underscore pedali underscore w underscore rar cake underscore gonia underscore bajoki slash utm underscore medium equals android underscore app and utm underscore source equals share. Here's to winning Poland back. Why is right-wing authoritarianism so big right now? Wars awo, Welch. I'm gonna be so happy when all these conservative idiots are finally dead and we can move on from trying to tell women what to do with their own vaginas. Idiots. Cause COVID cases to rise, or allow abortion to be almost completely banned. Rock and a hard place. More proof that basic rights for women are always up for debate and can be taken away at any time no matter the progress that has been made through the last generation. It's shameful and I hope more people come out to protest this decision. Warsaw City at War Religion is a cancer on society and holds back civilization's progress. Do the folks in Poland or from Poland, see anything changing from the protest? Or is it broken promises like the politicians here in the States? 2020 can't be worse. Poland, hold my vodka. Was there, it was amazing. It is widespread protest against government. Abortion ban started it but most of the people out there protest against pies and current situation in country. Abort religion. When I was a kid in the USA abortion was illegal so rich people would leave the country for an abortion or get a DNC. Poor people were just fucked. A mirror into America's future, wow I mean good for them, forcing women to have kids they don't want isn't gonna help anybody. Especially this new law that declares unconstitutional to abort a fetus with defects. Removed. I was part of this protest 600 kilometers away in remote town. Thing is it is not only Warsaw, it is every single small and big town in Poland. Dear conservatives, y'all need to know we're fed up with your bullshit. Signed, young people around the globe. No one should be allowed to tell you what you do with your body. Bless you all, we stand with you as women of the world. Give them hell, good luck to them but I can't help thinking that they literally just had elections there, this is kind of a surprised PK situation. You reap what you sow. Last I checked, the country wasn't a theocracy, and therefore untenable faith-based items of belief should not be used as a justification for, nor basis of, governmental policy. The equivocation of a fetus to a full complete person has not been elevated to a scientific absolute, and therefore archaic religious values should never be used to decide the rights of everybody, including, and especially, those who don't subscribe to that particular religion. What a terrible day for women, 
sad pro-choice all the way. Making it harder to get abortion doesn't stop it from happening. It's a pity, that the election of parliament was just in 2019. It would be interesting how the polls are right now. Does anyone have data for this? What's crazy is that some of the universities here in Poland granted a day off for students to take part in the protest. And now the Ministry of Education is blackmailing the universities who cancelled the classes. The ministry is basically saying, you grant students possibility to protest, you don't get subsidized, go fuck yourself. I swear this country is a joke, covets. Honest question, maybe more of a fishhook for articles on the matter. But how in the hell given its history is Poland so far right? I don't get it, but I'm clearly naive to the matter. Warsaw 500% increase in COVID-19 cases in a two-week period. Why the fuck are some people so concerned with what other women do with their bodies? Seriously FFS. Keep your rosaries off of women's ovaries. Reason number 423,124,864. 8. To tell the church, and religion in general, to fuck off. Why do people think that making abortion illegal is gonna solve anything? Do the people that think abortion is murder and therefore shouldn't be allowed think that making it a crime to insert something into your body to take something out that you don't want is going to cause any good in the world? Abortion has existed throughout human civilization, only in recent history has it become a very safe medical procedure, much safer than staying pregnant and giving birth. Many women will go to any lengths to stop their pregnancy if they don't want it. Taking the safe option away will force women to try other methods. Undergoing procedures that aren't in safe, sanitized environments. Forcing a miscarriage by drinking excessively. The infamous coat hanger method. What is the net positive from taking it away? Women having no control in how they plan their family. Being forced to endure months of pregnancy and an extremely painful birth which has much higher risk of death of the mother than an abortion? Do they think the mother is magically just going to love having a child and magically learn everything there is about being a mother when she never wanted to be? Especially now that they're forcing mothers in Poland to give birth to children with fetal abnormalities, which they may not be ready to deal with financially and mentally. Make it make sense against abortion ruling and the government pies. If I had enough to give this an award I would. Fuck religion. My people back home aren't afraid to take down any authoritarian regimen. We've done it before, and we'll do it again for women's rights this time. US better take notes, because this is what lies ahead with the latest SC confirmation. How can we get rid of this political apartheid? religious extremists should not control governments. We're about to see a renewed wave of it in the USA with the Trump Republican Supreme Court, and this was engineered by an utterly amoral man for his own benefit. Religious hypocrisy at his best. America, hold my beer. Just a reminder that Earth's population doubled in last 50 years. Pies off, standing with you. Fight the ban, fight bigotry. Fight barbaric laws. I've never been more embarrassed to be born Polish than recent months. I hadn't lived there for a long time now, but it just blows my mind how backwards everything seemed to be going. Cannot comprehend how the church, which should have nothing to say in the way Tuesday country is ruled is basically taking us back to primitive, dark ages again. How are those wonkers even allowed to have a public platform? Our wares are a nuisance everywhere. I wish we could throw all of them in a corner of the world where they can all live without contraceptives, have religious sermons every day, carry guns, have no social welfare and do other nutty things they wish, leave the rest of us alone. Go Poland. Why is there so many mass protests during pandemic? I used to think Poles as kind of uber conservative religious Catholics, I guess they are better than that. Cheers Poland. This is how it's done, Americans. People are missing the real point of this new legislation as they always do, and rulings on society issues are never just about that in Poland. Pies knows how divided the society is and usually make this kind of bullshit laws in order to create distraction. 
usually they introduce a law like making it okay to beat children again, or diminishing women's rights, or attacking the LGBTQ community. Then the left revolts, and during the commotion, Pai secretly introduces the real law, usually in the middle of the night, the one they really cared about. It is always something that grants them more power, like changing the voting ordination or taking power away from the courts. It is really so simple and people still have not caught on, the only goal of this party, and I suppose of most right-wing parties is power. That's it, their goal is to forever rule and nothing more. So whenever Pies introduces a new law, clearly meant to disrupt more than anything else. I ask myself, what it's the real goal of this new legislation, how does this new ruling pertain to the ruling party gaining power? And usually within days it appears that while brave leftists were out on the streets protesting, Pies has issued the law it was really about, but we were too focused on abortion slash gays slash women slash children to even notice the most important thing, our freedom being taken away from us in little pieces. So in this case I ask myself again, what is the real reason? And now again the case is clear. They want as many left-wing sympathizers to go out in the streets, then blame the COVID spike on them, then subsequently issue the real law, a ban on gathering in groups and protesting, on threat of a few years in prison. It is a matter of time. And the voters of Pies will be untouched, since they are primarily old people, lowest income people, uneducated people, and people from little towns slash villages equals people who never go out and protest anyway. Think about it, it makes perfect sense and is brilliant in its evil simplicity.